You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rudrance for Black and White Sports 2. Well, we're going to talk about this Darren Waller trade from the Raiders over to the G Men. I saw a lot of outrage yesterday from Raiders fans. Uh, felt like this was a fleecing, but if you want to peel back the curtain and you want to be objective about this and you want to break down the numbers, you start realizing maybe this wasn't such a bad trade after all. I mean, you got a third-round pick. I understand that uh, Waller goes over along with a sixth. You get a third uh, from the Giants. But when you start looking at Waller's numbers, well, yeah, three years ago, Four years ago, he had two consecutive great seasons at tight end, and I do consider him a pretty good player. But the last couple of years, if we objectively look at his numbers, one of his problems is he can't stay healthy, okay? And uh, also, there seems to be a personal bad blood issue right here between Darren Waller and um, Josh McDaniels. Now... We'll also take a small look at that NFL PA player survey involving Josh McDaniels because the Raiders players did not give him a very good rating. All right. Uh, now, look, Josh McDaniels seems to be like low hanging fruit. NFL fans are going to go after him, uh, they're going to snipe at him. He is absolutely one of the best offensive minds in the game. Now, why he can't seem to manage head coach? And offensive coordinator, I don't know, but we have seen that before with great offensive and defensive coordinators. Norv Turner comes to mind, but uh, Darren Waller married a WNBA star, if if WNBA stars exist, I guess. Um, We're not the biggest WNBA fans on this channel or over on the other channel either, but evidently Darren Darren Waller was pissed at Josh McDaniels, and Josh McDaniels did not get invited to his wedding. So there was some actual personal conflict going on here. And uh, a lot of people have uh, said that Josh McDaniels can be rather troubling to get along with. Let's put it that way. A lot of people believed that he had learned from his mistakes involving being able to connect with players from his Denver days. Not so sure. Outkick. Darren Waller's wife spills the beans on Raiders coach Josh McDaniels not getting invited to their wedding. And this is uh, Alejandro Avalea. Perhaps there was some bad blood between Tuesday's biggest NFL trade announcement. Former Raiders tight end Darren Waller joined the New York Giants after both sides agreed to a trade that many deemed to be pretty one-sided. Yeah, everybody kept uh, top top five tight end actually started trending when this trade happened. Advantage G-Men. And just 10 days after getting hitched, Waller is off to a new city to join a new team. On its surface, the trade appeared to be a ripple effect of Derek Carr's departure from Las Vegas. It turns out the story may be more scandalous than assumed. Late Tuesday, Waller's newlywed partner, Kelsey Plum, who plays for the WNBA's Las Vegas Aces, that's a team owned by Mark Davis, by the way, responded to a tweet that slightly hinted at bad blood between Waller and the Raiders coach, Josh McDaniels, leading up to the trade. Plum responded to a tweet by ESPN analyst and former NFL quarterback Robert Griffin III. Good God. In his tweet, RG3 joked that McDaniels was a savage for sending Waller to New York just days after his wedding. Plum took a step further, commenting that McDaniels wasn't invited to the wedding in a fairly pointed wording, probably because he was not invited to the wedding. Laugh out loud. Okay. Josh McDaniels hasn't been the most likable figure among NFL coaches, but in this case... He may carry some blame for the allegations. According to the New York Post, 
Waller approached McDaniels after the coach accidentally told personnel at the NFL Combine that the tight end was getting married. Waller did not want his marriage news getting out. And evidently, Josh McDaniels ran his mouth. And look, when you go to the NFL Combine, that's all it is. It is nonstop, continuous gossip outside of watching the actual draft prospect. That's why so much news comes out of the, the uh, Combine. Because everybody's talking to everybody about everything. You got a bunch of coaching hens out there squawking. It sounds as if Waller wanted his wedding details to be confidential and loose lips by McDaniel sunk his plans of a private wedding. Thinking of his coach as untrustworthy, that's not a good look, Waller left Las Vegas with good riddance and who hasn't been in that position before. Whether or not there was beef off the field, Waller and McDaniels are now opponents on the field. Waller signed a three-year, $51 million extension with the Raiders last year. The 30-year-old tight end has been bothered by injuries these past two seasons, but still offers the Giants a valuable target for newly signed Daniel Jones and the offense. Look, I think this is one of these trades that could turn out to be a win-win for everybody. But do I expect Darren Waller to sort of return back to that production prior? I'm not so sure about that. I mean, everybody's killing this trade. 2021, uh, he only played in 11 games. 55 catches, 665 yards, only two touchdowns. Okay? That's a good, solid season, but you missed five games. Last year... Nine games, six starts, only 28 catches, 388 yards, three touchdowns. So the past two seasons, and yeah, he had two monster years. 2019, 2020 were huge, huge. One's a Pro Bowl year. But the last two years, he has had real trouble staying on the field. I mean... Look, he missed out on a potential 11 games of starting. Okay? I mean, eight games overall last year. So, yeah, if he can get healthy and he can stay on the field, then he may put up some numbers. I think it's a good move. But at the same time, do I sort of blame Josh McDaniels? Considering that, let's be real... He looks injury-prone now. I mean, Darren Waller looks injury-prone. Now, this is a bad indictment of Josh McDaniels, but I think it ties in rather nicely. The NFL Players Association report card for the Raiders makes it clear that players thought McDaniels didn't listen to them and kept them in the facility too long. Quote, at this workplace, the lowest graded category was coaching staff. It's a terrible look. The NFLPA said of the Raiders, players' respondents felt the head coach, Josh McDaniels, is less likely to listen to players and keeps them for longer hours than other head coaches around the league. Longer hours are not correlating to winning, as seven of the top eight coaches rated as being the most efficient with players' time in 2022 survey made the playoffs this year. That's even a worse look. Raiders players otherwise like playing in Vegas, particularly because they've got that new facility, the Death Star, out there. Uh, So that is a plus for being in Raiders land. Is that awesome? And I mean, that stadium looks freaking cool and freaking phenomenal. But Josh McDaniels, maybe not so much. And if Josh McDaniels, the question is, How did McDaniels find out about the wedding? Okay, in other words, did somebody tell him and then it was not relayed to him that, hey, this wedding is supposed to be off the record. It's supposed to be confidential. It's it's because, look, not a lot of people would be like, I'm getting married and I don't want anybody to know. I mean, I guess that's a thing and it might be a thing for some people. But if Josh McDaniels wasn't relayed that very important part of the information, 
How is he supposed to know? He can't just say, you know, Darren Waller just got married. That was pretty cool. Or, or you know, or whatever. And then I, you kind of get the sense that Waller may have actually confronted Josh McDaniels on this. So that, of course, would cause an issue. I don't know how this is going to turn out in Las Vegas. As of right now, it doesn't look great. And frankly, I like the signings. Jacoby Myers, love the signing. New England, don't know what you're doing. I mean, I don't. you haven't done anything at wide receiver. Wide receiver court sucks. You let Jacoby just walk out the door for what is really sort of, it's a three-year contract, but it's really a one-year contract with some, hey, everybody can part ways after the fact. $11 million, kind of a bargain. And you got got him reunited with Josh McDaniels and Jimmy Garoppolo. I like it. But what are you going to do at tight end? Now, I'm going to just throw this out there because it almost happened. Could Rob Gronkowski come out of retirement and play for Josh McDaniels? I, I'm just saying, he's got Garoppolo. He knows him. He's got McDaniels. He knows him. Jacoby Myers, he knows him. Rob Gronkowski said he got bored last year and wanted to come out of retirement. Would he come out of retirement? Him and Brady almost went to Las Vegas. Remember that story? It was a supposed done deal, and he was going with Brady. Would he come out of retirement and go play for Josh and uh, catch passes from Jimmy G? It's just something to throw out. Because now, and the other thing, and, and nobody talked about this yesterday while the outrage was going on. This is a very deep, good, very damn good tight end draft class. Okay. Um, so one of the better ones in a long time. So there's five potential true difference making starting tight ends in this draft. Okay. Uh, so that's that's something else. This draft is, and they could grab one in the third, right? Without the salary along with it. So you got to take a step back, all right? But this seems like there could have been something personal there. But Darren Waller's also been hurt. And it's weird because nobody brought that up yesterday. Nobody. It was just a bunch of outrage. Interesting. I don't know. It's that All of that said... It's it doesn't look good for Josh McDaniels right now. It really doesn't. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First. 25% off USA First. Go now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.